Hello, this is Have I Got News For You, news for you. I'm Alexander Armstrong. In Manchester, there's embarrassment for one leading architect when at the opening ceremony of his new building, he discovers he's left the key at home. <laughs> at an economic summit in Geneva, President Obama discreetly lets his security staff know who the stalker is he'd like them to eject. And after another Tory MP returns his furniture allowance, party workers vote on whether to use it to buy a proper conference table. <laughs> Paul and Reginald, here's yours. Uh, people are queuing up for... Uh, Voting. Oh, yes, of course, and it's America. Barack Obama eating. Yep. And uh, next to a white dude. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, showing she can get out of a car as well as she can drink beer. Uh-huh. No snipers. She's on her way to loan her campaign some more money. Yeah. yeah. I think Barack Obama wants the race to be about ideas, new directions, new beginnings, mm. and I think um, Americans just like somebody they can recognize and somebody who looks a bit fun. Mm. You have to remember that Bill Clinton, I mean, survived a sex scandal. I mean, and the way yeah. he survived that sex scandal when he was running was he ate at McDonald's and he blew a saxophone in a black band on the Arsenio Hall show. And Americans thought, yeah, he's cool, I think. Yeah. 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 Once we have our two final nominees, I think John McCain yeah. will get into office, and I think his first act as president is, will be to pull out of Iraq and invade Vietnam. <laughs> yeah, well, um, I mean, they've had it easy for a while, haven't they, really? You know? <laughs> See, he was, he was held by the Vietnamese. I think he's one of these people that's been programmed to kill once he becomes a president. Like, like a Manchurian candidate. Manchurian candidate. Yeah, 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 Nobody's boy. mentioned this. Yeah, the boy. Mancunian candidate. Did yeah. You say? The Mancunian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, come on. Come on. Come on. In North Carolina, Obama won the backing of 90% of African Americans. And is, is that because he's black? Uh, or is it. He sounds Irish. You know. <laughs> Barack Obama. <laughs> oh, sorry. Mean, his actual speech sounded Irish. <laughs> oh, sorry. <yeah. laughs> oh, you going to beat the next president of the United States. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're lovely family, little Keeley, Obama, and uh, <laughs> Kathleen and Declan. They're lovely fellas. There's evidence that some people already have access to the gruesome photo of Osama bin Laden's dead body. <laughs> and new evidence has emerged that US personnel practiced for months on every aspect of the Osama operation, including the burial at sea. Oh. Shall we have a look at that bit of E.T.? Yes. Here he is at a recent rally. Okay. i got to ask you a question. I do not uh, believe in, I can't trust Obama. I, I, I have read about him, and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not. <laughs> no? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma he's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen, that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues, and that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Thank you. Thank you. So he's not an Arab, he's a decent human being. <laughs> but before we go, there's just time for the caption competition. You fat bitch. <laughs> And at the White House, the undercover officer who led the Navy SEAL raid reveals the disguise that fooled Bin Laden. <laughs> so here's a clip showing the subtle difference between Gordon Brown and Barack Obama. Here they are arriving at number 10, and uh, look at this lucky policeman gets to shake hands with the President of the United States. Oh, and here comes the Prime Minister of the... Mm. No. <laughs> At least he resisted doing that, to be fair. <laughs> After a brief discussion about the relative merits of garage versus hip hop, a group of friends decide to put some Snoop Dogg on the jukebox. <laughs> <laughs> and in Windsor, there's evidence that squirrels may have developed rudimentary weapons. And I leave you with news that at the signing of the new US-Italian alliance, President Obama has to make one more concession than he would have liked.
After driving around the streets of Berkshire, a pensioner finally tracks down the gang who stole her curtains. <laughs> As allegations of extraordinary rendition resurface, there's evidence that MI6 may have hired a former producer of You Been Framed as chief interrogator. <laughs> Good night.